Lesson 14 homework. So the first one is done for you. So let's skip to B. 36 quarts would be equal to 36 times one quart. And then we would have, we're converting from quarts to gallons. So there are four quarts in a gallon. So if we have 36 quarts, we're gonna multiply it by one fourth so that we can take a fourth of that, basically dividing by four. So we'll have 36 fourths, because 36 times 1 fourth is 36 fourths. And then this is just a division problem. 36 fourths is the same as saying 36 divided by 4, and 36 divided by 4 is 9. So we have 9 gallons. C, convert centimeters to meters. So 760 centimeters is equal to 760 times 1 centimeter, or 760 times we're converting to meters, there are 100 centimeters in a meter, so this would be one one hundredth of a meter. And if we do 760 times one one hundredth, we'd have 760 one hundredths, hundredths. And that's just like saying 760 divided by 100, which would be seven and sixty hundredths meters, or seven and six tenths meters. 2,485 meters is equal to 2,485 times 1 meter, or 2,485 times 1 thousandth kilometer. I think it's easier to look at it as a fraction, so then we can multiply 2,485 times 1 one thousandth, and we get 2,485 thousandths, and then we just need to divide, so 2,485 divided by 1,000 is 2 and 485 thousandths kilometers. E, convert grams to kilograms. So 3,090 grams is equal to 3,090 times 1 gram, and that's equal to 3,090 times one kilogram is equal to a thousand grams, so that would be one one thousandth of a kilogram, and that would be equal to three thousand ninety over a thousand, which is equal to three and nine hundredths kilograms. Two thousand two hundred five milliliters is equal to two hundred five times one milliliter. And we're converting to liters, so 205 times 1 1,000 liters, because there are 1,000 milliliters in a liter. So we would have 205 divided by 1,000, or 205 thousandths liters. Two, after solving, write a statement to express each conversion. The first one is done for you. A jug of juice holds eight cups. Convert eight cups to pints. So we know there are two cups in each pint. So we have eight cups is equal to eight times one cup. But we need to convert that to pints. So that's equal to eight times one half because there are two cups in a pint. So half, oops, not cup, pint. And that would be equal to eight halves pints, which is equal to eight divided by two is four. So we get four pints. So we could say the jug of juice holds eight pints. Hold eight cups or four pints. C. The length of a flower garden is 529 centimeters. What is the length in meters? So 529 centimeters, we're converting to meters. So there are 
100 centimeters in a meter. So we need to multiply it by 100th and we'll get 529 hundredths meters. So 529 divided by 100 would be 5 and 29 hundredths meters. Our statement would be the flower garden is 529 centimeters or 5 and 29 hundredths meters long. D. The capacity of a container is 2,060 milliliters. Convert this to liters. So there are 1,000 milliliters in a liter. So we're going to do 2,060 milliliters times 1 1,000th liters, which will give us 2,060 divided by 1,000, or 2 and 60 thousandths liters. We can leave off the zero at the end if we want. So the capacity of the container is 2,060 milliliters or 2 and 6 hundredths liters. E, a hippo weighs 1,560,000 grams. Convert the hippopotamus's weight to kilograms. So 1,560,000 grams. There are 1,000 grams in a kilogram, so times 1 over 1,000 would give us 1,560,000 divided by 1,000. That would equal 1,560 kilograms. So the hippo weighs 1,560,000 grams or 1,560 kilograms. F. The distance was 372,060 meters. Convert the distance to kilometers. So there are 1,000 meters in a kilometer. So 372,060 times 1 1,000th kilometers. We would have 372,060 divided by 1,000. That would give us 372 and 60 thousandths. So the distance is 372,060 meters or 372 and six hundredths kilometers.